I'm Hal Abelson. I'm on the faculty here at MIT in the computer science department. I've been here since the early 1970s and the beginning, way before the beginning of the web. Uh, at the very beginning, there was a project at MIT called Project Logo, which was actually the first project that had the idea that computer programming, that the act of computer programming could be educationally valuable for kids. That was a project run by, by uh, Professor Seymour Papert. And App Inventor and lots of other things like Scratch and many other projects are direct are a direct descendant of that idea that programming can be a way to empower young people. So the vision of App Inventor is that anyone should be able to build apps and build apps that are useful to them and useful to their family. And here at CCEL, we're actually making that possible. We run a server that uh, hosts a million people actively making apps each month, or eight million altogether since we've started. About half of those are school kids and one of the things that we are working on is what we call computational action, which says, can anyone, including young people, including even primary school students, use this incredible information technology to do something that actually has an impact on their lives, on their family, or even their, even their country? Um, for example, in the Eastern European country of Moldova, there is a couple of high school girls who built a system where when you travel around the country, you can look at sources of water. And at water, you take a picture of that with your cell phone, you fill out a questionnaire that says with, whether this is a good source of water. And then what they did is they put up a national database that anyone traveling around in the country, when they come near a source of water, can look up what people have said about that source of water. This is an example of how a couple of high school girls have something has some have done something that has an impact at a countrywide level, and that's a direct result of the real uh, burgeoning of technology over even the last five years, which says we now have resources that allow individual kids, individual anybody, to do things that sit on the web and have national scope. So what we've done in App Inventor, of course, our, our goal is to really make it, make it very easy. And there are two ways in which we make it easy. So the first one is what's called blocks programming. So when you write programs, you don't type characters, you kind of assemble things that look like tinker, tinker toy blocks and piece them together. And that's how, that's how a program sits as a geometric thing that you piece together. And the second one is the capabilities that you build in the phone. So for example, if in my program I want to have a thing that finds what my location is, there's a special block that says, tell me my location. It's as simple as that. It's, it's that you take the very, very powerful capabilities that are in today's mobile computing and you make them very, very simple to address and use. Well, we've heard enormous things about App Inventory. I think I said before, we've got, you know, 8 million users since this started, you know, five, six years ago, and, and a million active users a month. So there's, there's, a, lot of, there's, a, there's a lot of impact, but, but again, what's really nice is when kids come and visit, and they talk about, you know, how, first of all, they're, they're overwhelmed by MIT, they're overwhelmed by CCL, right? Those of us who, hear, who are here sometimes don't appreciate what an impressive place this is. We're kind of used to MIT and, and CCEL in the building, but it is remarkably impressive. And then you get to hear about, about kids' ambitions. A lot of them say, well, my ambition is to come to MIT. Those are, the, those are the kids that tend to visit when they're young. But it's just inspiring to hear what they want to do.